All right, let's take a look at our time lapse, our eagle nest time lapse. You really can't tell it's in motion other than some swaying trees here and there. That's just because not a lot of cloud cover at all through the state. And we start to see the sunset there. As we take a look at satellite radar, you can see plenty of sunshine, a nice ridge of high pressure. It's going to start to break down, though, in the next few days. Tomorrow's going to be a decent day. Tuesday, not too bad, but then it starts to get a little hairy on Wednesday. Wind speeds here and there, breezy conditions. Where we'll see stronger winds for Monday and even stronger winds into Tuesday. We're also going to see a nice warming trend for a good portion of the state. Fantastic temperatures here in Albuquerque and especially in the eastern part of the state. We will be breezy in northeast New Mexico, but then as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, this system is going to pull in from the Pacific Northwest and increase our winds. So Tuesday, uh, east of the Central Mountain Chain and along the Central Mountain Chain, seeing possible 50 mile per hour winds. Not as strong in Albuquerque, but definitely a noticeable different difference in those winds. Also, all those gains we get as far as warming up, we're going to lose them as we get into Wednesday and then especially Thursday as a cold front pulls in from the Northeast. Now, we're going to get some rain and snow with this system, mainly focusing on the northern part of the state. That'll start Wednesday, late Wednesday into Thursday. As this low pressure system traverses the state into Thursday, we will see rain and snow chances spreading across to the north, the northeast, and then down to the eastern plains. This forecast is a little tricky, though. Different models are saying different things. Some having the storm exit by late Thursday. Some have it kind of hanging out on the New Mexico-Texas border for Friday. So we're going to have to kind of wait and see. Looks like the best chance for rain and snow will be Wednesday into Thursday, but Friday could be the wild card as this thing is going to kind of wobble back and forth on the border and we may hang on to some of those snow showers. So we'll keep a closer eye on that uh, as we get in the next couple of days. 61 degrees, north winds at 10 miles per hour right now. Temperatures around the state not too bad out there. Very warm in Roswell. Wait do you see the seven day forecast for the Pecos River Valley? Let's do the numbers. Southern Colorado, what to expect? Temperatures warming for the next couple of days and then they drop like a rock as we get into Wednesday, Thursday. You can see also rain and snow chances getting up there. For the Durango area. For the four corners, not too bad tomorrow. We'll be breezy out there, but even more wind for Tuesday. And then those temperatures do drop two in the four corners from 64 to 47. And then we see that rain snow chance in the four corners as well for Wednesday and Thursday. In southwest New Mexico, sunny, breezy, 70s for most of us, or low 70s, 74 in Deming, 66 in Silver City. We'll see temperatures slide back to the 50s for Wednesday. Maybe some rain on Thursday, about a 10% chance. Doesn't look all that great in the southwest. This uh, system's going to be way too far to the north. 78 in Roswell, 81 on Tuesday, and then a little bit cooler for Wednesday. And then we see those temperatures really fall Thursday, going down to 59 degrees with the chance for some rain. Maybe some overnight snow Wednesday into Thursday, but looks like our best shot would be Wednesday as of now. But we're going to have to keep an eye on the system because things really could change in the next couple of days. Mid 70s for many locations in the Northeast. 61 in Las Vegas, getting up to 65 by Tuesday. And then we'll see those temperatures fall back to the 40s for Wednesday. And then only a high of 40 degrees on Thursday with a chance of rain and snow. A lot more cloud cover too, but expect uh, windy conditions for Tuesday in the Northeast. In the Northern Mountains, not bad. We'll have a high of 49 in Angel Fire, 57 in Santa Fe, getting up to 60 on Tuesday with more wind. And then temperatures fall here too, even more so on Thursday. 45 degrees, that's going to be it. So a real taste of winter compared to what we're going to have for the start of the week. And also rain and snow chances. In the East Mountains, some wind out there, not too bad. More wind for Tuesday, plenty of sunshine. In the Duke City, 65 in Rio Rancho, nearing 70 in Berlin. A nice day, warmer than we were today, about a few degrees. And then we'll see temperatures jumping even more so for Tuesday. But it probably won't feel all that warm because we're going to have a little bit more wind. But then we will lose all the ground we get as far as the warming goes, dropping down to 52 on Thursday. A chance for some rain on Thursday. Maybe some overnight snow, but it doesn't look to be uh, great as far as Albuquerque goes. All right. Ian, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lobos, of course, finishing strong. Now they're uh, looking for the next big challenge. Lawrence Gilligan has all the latest.